Welcome to the Big Brain Time Debate Podcast. I'm Seth. I'm Kyle. I'm Ira. Jared. Really? We, yeah. we should really coordinate that because it's it's awkward every time. <laughs> I always wait for the last, you know, I want to be considerate, but, but I don't want to like leave a long gap. No, just jump should, on it. I think we should coordinate it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're arguing Among Us or Fall Guys, two video games that just blew up out of nowhere. They both have pill-shaped people. They're both big multiplayer games with bright colors. But uh, maybe Fall Guys fell too fast. An imposter starting on 2008 just took its place. What, what happened there? I'm defending Fall Guys. As am I. I'm defending Among Us. Yeah, I'm Team Among Us. And then I'll be deciding which one is the winner, since I only really know about these two through memes. So I don't know Fall Guys, but I'm just going to take my best. I'm just going to kind of wing it. Jared, to be honest, on a meme standard, I feel like there's way more Among Us memes, hmm? and they're better. But. How dare you? <laughs> Jared, hmm. have you ever seen Wipeout? Yes, I remember that show. Have you ever wanted Such to play Wipeout? Show. Did I what? Have you ever wanted the minions from Despicable Me to play Wipeout? I would I would pay to see that. Interestingly, I think there was a fairly substantial or substantive uh, like little series of Wipeout video games. Like There was. Sponsored. I had one. <laughs> it was flipping hard. I never, I never played any of them. I'm just throwing that out there. It was flipping hard. <laughs> You do not know how hard it is to bounce. You know, it's really easy to bounce when you're shaped like a little pill person, like a little minion. And you're bounce right. shell if you play Fall Guys. You're right. I think it was like that tweet that the developers for Fall Guys like confirmed like what their skeletons look like. Oh yeah. And those... It's like really disturbing. <laughs> it's super disturbing. It's got like a curved spine. And that's the Ugh. level of detail you get when you're a Fall Guys fan. You look at the Among Us bone structure, it's just like one bone. What are you even supposed to do with that? Apparently you do tasks on a spaceship until you get inevitably murdered by an imposter. That's true. My theory is that they have like telekinesis because they have no hands, but they still do many hand-related activities. My main argument is just that like, you look at a lot of other multiplayer games that are popular for young people and old people. Um, you know, there's like, there's Fortnite, there was Fall Guys for a while, although I don't know if that's fallen off a bit now. A lot of like team-based first-person shooters. And a lot of those require skill, but none of them require, well, they require skill and strategy. And, and by that degree, they require thinking, but they don't require like a deduction. And so Among Us is very unique in that it's a game that's multiplayer, but it's like specifically trying to deceive other people and trying to like think. You almost have to be a, a good lawyer. I always think of that when I play Among Us. Is It's like, let's, I mean, let's be honest, if you play it Among Us, it doesn't go that deep, but it does give you some skill and argument. Um, analyzing language, analyzing where people were, where people are, what people have said and how people have acted. And it, it's a whole game of analysis. Right, and it's unique in that, in that point because it's not just like racing or killing each other or whatever, which is so common in games. Like it's, it almost feels like a hybrid like board game in a way because there's also that level of interaction and whether you play it like over, over a call or you're just typing in the chat, like there's a level of interaction most people are actually cooperating. It's just, it's very unique mm -hmm. when you compare it to the other type of like popular multiplayer games. Mm -hmm. it, like um, I heard someone, one of our friends say that she would like to see or, like a lawyer, a cop and like a murder investigator play the game because they, she would like to see how that would go. Mm -hmm. I think that lays out our initial argument. For Fall Guys, I would say it, it's, it's unique in its own way. It's a, it's a battle royale game, but it's, not like Fortnite or PUBG, you know, where you're dropped into an area, you have to get a gun and you have to kill people. You just have to play a bunch of mini games, really. They're like these little obstacle course mini games or 
fought games that you have to maneuver and get through without falling or dying or losing, essentially. And um, it's unique because you're just you're just playing mini mini games with other people. You're not trying to legitimately kill people. I mean, of course, you can just push people off edges and stuff and be rude like that, but. An imposter can just, you know, bank out of the game and end the game and Among Us too and can be a jerk like that as well or spam stuff in chat and be a jerk. But, um, and also in Fall Guys, there's lots of thinking because uh, allow me to bring to attention the little mini game called Perfect Match where you have to remember uh, what square you're standing on to get uh, before it falls out from under you. So there's a screen and a banana comes up and you have to go stand on a space that has a banana on it, but you have to remember where that space is. Mm -hmm. So it's a rush to get to that space. It's like a memory, a memory game. And you have to, it, all these mini games require you to have a strategy going in to think about what you're doing. So it, it too helps you think. And as opposed to something like PUBG or Fortnite, where you're just like, Oh, get gun, shoot people, get ammo, shoot people. It, it helps. It's more of a game that helps you think through puzzles rather than shooting people. So it it is it is also unique and also a thinking game. Looking okay. brain. So as someone, <laughs> so as someone who isn't super familiar with Fall Guys, what would differentiate it from something? Because I'll admit that does sound pretty unique, as far as like modern stuff. What would differentiate that from something like Mario Party? Realistically, in Mario Party, you're playing with a group of people like you know, lo locally, typically. And you're going around and doing these little mini games that, and you're literally, literally competing against each other. Um, so in Fall Guys, there's like, I don't know, sometimes there's like 40, 30, however many little Fall Guys are in there, but they're all trying to compete for the same thing. Sometimes there's team games, but mostly it's, it's a free for all. And it just, Oh. And it's randomly generated which games you get each time. So you said, Kyle, that um, something along the lines of, did you say Among Us, you can just, if you're the imposter, you can just kill and then like... Well, I was saying, um, I was saying like people who are jerks, like online trolls and stuff. Wait, and then, so what did you say about the imposters and in Among Us? Yes, I there's some imposters. The imposter can leave. The imposter the can imposter leave and the ruin the game for everybody else. Gotcha. Then it just ends the game prematurely. Yeah, yeah. I've had that happen several times where the imposter, like, the game starts, the imposter leaves, and the game ends. Okay, sorry. I thought you were saying, alluding to the imposter being a jerk because he kills, and I was like, and I was thinking... Well, that's the point of the game, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, another point I would have that I think is pretty major for Among Us is I feel like it's a lot more accessible to more people, not just because, first of all, you have an option to play it on phone, which I did like once or twice, and I had a really hard time with it. I don't think it's as good, but even if you have, like I have a lower end PC, like I doubt that I would be able to run Fall Guys very well. I don't know, I haven't looked at the specs for it, but I probably wouldn't be able to run it. It's not a gaming PC, but you know, if you have really anything, like a laptop, whatever, even if you have a phone, you can play Among Us, it's like, it looks like a like a Newgrounds animation kind of a thing. Like the style, it's just like cartoon characters. It's not going to like be a drain on your hardware at all. It's more available for more people to play. I can't I can't refute that. It is it's cheaper than Fall Guys, and it's definitely smaller file size than Fall Guys for sure. Free on the on, on the phone. Picture this: Black Friday. You ever see those videos <laughs> where people are just trampling each other? When do you think? I would love to do that, but to Despicable Me minions. Yes. Here comes Fall Guys, letting you live out your fantasy. And uh, aside from that, if you compare Among Us and uh, Fall Guys character designs, the little Fall Guys are adorable. Look at their little button eyes. What did the Among Us dudes have? These weird they little, hear little children. That's pretty adorable. That's true. You ever see you ever see an Among Us character get killed with a kid? It's just it's a little baby is just sitting there the rest of the game. It's hysterical. What? what? I wouldn't say it's hysterical. I'd say it's sad. It, you, it appeals to your emotional side. You can't just... help but feel that the little baby Among Us character in a spacesuit is adorable. That's I why say... you're sad. Any creature that tries to cover its eyes is disgusting and untrustworthy. 
And that's my statement. <laughs> well, calling it adorable is a subjective opinion. Exactly, Jared. Oh, wait, no. You mean the... Oh. <laughs> that's your argument. <laughs> Dang it. I'm looking up vlogs because I've never actually seen... Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. no. I'm looking up Fall Guys and it looks disgusting. I've never seen it before. It looks like My Little Pony and Hello Kitty had a child and that (laughs) child grew up. (laughs) I will admit, I I will admit this. Some of the outfits are not appealing. This looks disgusting. Though there is one I have to point out. It would... (laughs) This game allows you to live out your fantasies of being the child of My Little Pony and Hello Kitty. You are the child of Twilight Sparkle. Jared has fantasies about that? I'm no, sure. I don't. Don't you want to be Rainbow Dash Jr., Jared? Oh, God. Not really? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> That's gonna be. That's gonna be. A meme. I think what you're saying is you want the thumbnail to be a picture of you photoshopped as Fluttershy. Who are you talking to me, <laughs> Kyle? No, no, no! It's not true. <laughs> Impossible. I'm buckling down here. Among Us is a superior game because it doesn't look like it was thrown up by Hello Kitty. Okay. Don't you yeah, want so it promotes intellect, intellectual it. engagement with other people? Among Us has greater intellectual engagement. Joey is right. There is more intellectual engagement than from what I have heard described by Fall Guys. In Fall Guys, you can dress up as Godzilla. <laughs> okay, I so think did, we should probably start wrapping things so, up. So did we win? <laughs> <laughs> Who won? This is this all you guys' final arguments, or should I just make decide? I'll make a final. Okay, I'll make a final argument. Among Us is superior because, as Joey said, it's an intellectual game. Everyone's a detective, and you, if you're the imposter, you have to be. You have to use quick wit in order to save yourself and win the game. And you have the little and. When you are the imposter and you're going around trying to figure out how to not be suspicious, you have to be quick and smart with that. So there's a lot of quick thinking in it. There's a lot of intellectual analysis involved in that game, and everyone's a detective. That's what I'm. Yeah, saying. being imposter is like harder than it looks. It's really easy to screw yourself over if you make like a very small mistake. It almost is kind of like, like I don't know. It's like training for being a real murderer. You know, you can really screw yourself. You know, you leave a fingerprint. You know. Yeah. Let's just move on. <laughs> Basically. Final argument for Fall Guys. If you've ever wanted to play a bunch of mini games with a bunch of people online, prove that you're superior at thinking big brain style, getting through all these puzzle mini games, being strategic and tactical, Fall Guys is for you. Ira, I will Photoshop your face onto all the My Little Ponies if you pick us. Don't you want that, Ira? You want me? You do you want this? Seth, team. you're making this, this on oh, purpose. Okay, if you choose Favorite Joey team. and uh, Jared's side, I will Photoshop you to all the My Little Pony. <laughs> it's either a threat or seems a promise, like depending on how whether you like it. Or a promise. Seems like an abuse of power. At least he's honest about it. <laughs> Photoshop is too. Okay, much so, Ira, who won? Um. I'd say both of you make pretty good arguments, especially in terms of, I think, like, you know, arguing the intellectual side of both of them is pretty good. And like, um, yeah, the style and quality and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to base this, uh, my decision mainly on, yeah, the accessibility, like looking at some, looking at the specs for Fall Guys compared to Among Us, like you could like Fall Guys, you could, I think you could run on a decent computer. Among Us, I could play this on my old Acer that run Windows XP. So based off of that, I'm just going to say Among Us, com- considering the accessibility, take wins. We'll prepare for my little pony photoshops. I think you should do I, I will. Oh, that would be funnier. Uh, 
Yeah, it would be. All right. Yeah. See you next week, audience. Bye.